Hello and welcome back to the last chapter, the chapter 8 HTML multimedia audio and video. And in this chapter, this is actually my favorite chapter, you know, we'll be talking about how to embed audio and video in your HTML files. And uh, remember, audio and video files embedded in your website or your web page make your web page more interesting and appealing to the audience because today, internet is all about interaction. It's all about getting to, you know, inserting information in the page and retrieving information from the page. So it's all about interactivity. It's all about making uh, the website, you know, tell you more in a short amount of time. So videos are descriptive pictures as we know, motion pictures and uh, audio is like, you know, something that you can hear and uh, together they combine together to create a very powerful effect because text based, some people, most people I know uh, do not like to read lines and lines and lines of text. So in order to make a website more engaging and appealing, uh, you need to motivate the website viewers to be able to see the entire content all from the very beginning to the very bottom so embellish your website with the uh, images with moving objects for example not too much but you know tastefully and embed your website with colors and also finally multimedia so with this chapter i will conclude this entire html1 course and I must tell you that the CSS, again, I repeat, CSS has more capabilities than plain HTML. But this is a great start for somebody who has never, has very minimum experience on using HTML code. So in the next course, HTML2, I will be talking about CSS coding and how you can make your website even more powerful by writing lesser amount of code and having a greater impact on your website okay so that being said let's move to the chapter objectives okay i have three objectives here video embedding audio embedding and adding animated text and uh, before i begin i would like to tell you that i have created a folder here okay remember i teach my courses with the aid of organized folders so i have created a folder called html multimedia and within the html multimedia folder i have these following files i have a multimedia dot text file which contains my html code and i have a multimedia dot html file that contains you know that implements the code then i have a sample dot mp4 file for video to show you how videos can be embedded on a website on a web page and i have a nice song here enia one of my favorites mp3 file that i downloaded from the internet to show you how you can embed audio in your web page okay so for this module or this part of the chapter i'll be dealing with video here it's called sample.mp4 so if you open up your file here i have created a basic skeleton of the html file html code on the notepad notice the regular tags doc type html html tag the head tag and then within the head tag you have the title tag and the title of the page is html multimedia examples okay I just copied and pasted this entire file from one of the introductory uh, lectures that I gave out for this course and you can do the same to save yourself time or you can just pause this video and copy the entire text step by step so I have the title I have the head tag body tag contains an h1 heading cup stacker game I actually have a short video on how to do cup stacking cup stacking is becoming you know increasingly popular you have cups and you need to stack them and de-stack them the shortest amount of time seems like this game is you know really gaining a lot of popularity around the world and people are creating Guinness book of uh, world records people young as four years old are creating records and uh, I decided to conduct this game in my classroom where I teach and I shot a video and I saved it and I'm going to use it as a sample for this web page. So it's just a cup stacker game and it's a very short video which is why I'm using it so that you know it can upload and download easily and we can save time but you can also embed a longer video. Notice 
the file size of this video is 3.84 megabytes which is fairly small and the length is just two seconds long okay just preparing you it's going to end abruptly but my focus is on the code the right code and the right supporting tags for the code so that you can have a video uh, an enjoyable video viewing experience on your website or your web page all right that being said let's open this up and uh, if you want to look at the code here the code that goes for this multimedia video embedding is very very simple it says video there you go how simple is this video the video tag is typically written as video source is equal to okay src just like image source source is equal to the name of the file is sample right here so i'm going to write sample capital s dot was it mp4 yes mp4 okay don't worry i'm going to check it again and since you know it's all about relative referencing and absolute referencing this file is located within the folder with the that contains the html and the txt file so i don't need to include the complete address of the video file i can just access it call it directly with its name no need to add all the layers here that this file belongs to you know inside this folder and then this folder and then this folder no need for that okay i'm going to directly access this file let's go ahead with the code okay you know the source part so this is how this video source uh, video code opens video tag opens up and uh, there is also an additional attribute called controls okay and it can be specified to provide user controls for the interface so that the user can stop start change the volume etc you need to be able to provide that kind of control to your users they should be able to play the video again and again they should be able to stop the video they should be able to mute the video so these kind of controls are very simple to add in your video tag okay and supported by the control attribute and uh, within the control attribute we have also have the dimensions the width and the height okay and they can be used to provide the width and the height of the video all right so let's go ahead and type out the code now i'm going to do the control attributes width is equal to 170 that's pixels and height that's going to be very small okay just watch and see is equal to 85 and then you're going to say controls you're telling the browser i'm talking about controls here okay and uh, which means just add controls as well okay and after you've done that you are going to close the tag here close the video tag okay and I'm going to save this file. Let me just make sure, you know, the name of the file is correct. And before, yes, that's correct. Many types of video files can be embedded in a website. MP4 is the simplest one. There is OGG and uh, there is MP4. There is WebM. Okay. There is OGV as well. Okay. There are many, many uh, types of uh, video files available for you that you can embed and the browser will read them successfully okay but right now i'm just going to stick to mp4 and i'm going to save this and i am going to also save as uh, let me just do this once then i don't have to do it again and again okay and let me try to run this file okay okay i don't see the video itself there must be an issue let me check Okay, I see the controls, but I don't see the video itself. There must be a, a problem with my code here. Okay, what happened? Let me check. Okay, this is very simple. This is what's missing. Is equal to sign is missing here. So this is a syntax error. Unfortunately, the browser won't tell you that there's a syntax error. You have to figure this out yourself. But if you have a HTML editor, it's going to tell you exactly what's wrong, where it's wrong, and how to fix it. But that's not the, that, you know, people who already know the language, they use that. 
but for somebody who's a starter again i say this is the best way to learn so let me try to refresh this page oh my god this is such a small video okay short i can understand but so small i don't like this let me change the dimensions here let me make this bigger 300 and the height to be 400 what do i get let me save and refresh mm, much better that looks much better okay these are my students they are stacking cups and trying to make a record okay their own classroom record but the idea is this is how you, you can you know upload a video or embed a video in your website and if you want you can change the dimensions further for example if you want a perfect square video or a rectangle video you can do that as well let me try to save this and refresh it there you go okay seems like the dimensions uh, it won't be a perfect square but it would be just like it's a ratio it's a split ratio it would automatically set the ratio so you can have more control of the video using css but html video tag will give you only this much control and what is this here okay this will take you to full screen exit full screen okay this is a great tool to have if you have a lot of videos in one page you can just have small videos and then the user has a control bar here that allows them to increase the screen size or it will allow them to forward the video and pause it or it will remove the sound for them and they also know how much how long the video is okay it's a two second long video with no volume in it okay so that's about it and then i also have a couple of more ways to embed video let me show them to you in the next video stay tuned